So when you were using it, obviously you're jumping from Android to iOS, which, which do you prefer? The truth is, um Carl mentioned in a brainstorm the other day that he'd be up for reviewing a tech products like a tech tuber. I will then be the only one who's actually going to buy it for, so that would be an interesting and uh, different perspective thing people like. So I've just bought an iPhone 14. Should we go see what he's saying? Let's go. Hello, bro. I got you a gift. Do we pay for this? Sit that on for me, please, G. Carl, previously you said you wanted to review products online. You're still down to do that. I mean, uh, I mentioned it in passing, but why not? Should we do an unboxing now and you get the first impression? Or not? Uh, I think I need to use it for a couple of days. So why don't I take it over the weekend and uh, we can shoot a review in a week or so? Yeah, sounds good. Bro, let me get your mic from you. Do we have to pay for it? We won't pay for it, don't worry. Hello, thank you for contacting Apple. What, an iPhone 14? I was just wondering what the returns policy was. Under 40 days, you can either replace it we're from a competitor company, we're actually from Samsung, and uh, we just wanted to shoot some content with the uh, iPhone and then give it back. Would that be totally fine? Uh... Carl, it's been a few days. How's the phone treating you, man? No, it's been good. I, um, I've been carrying it with me every single day. Uh, not as my primary, but as a secondary. And, you know, I've been an Apple fan for the longest time. How do you want to kick it off? What would you like to talk about first? I guess first off is always the design. You know, that's the thing you see first. I've had a lot of friends tell me that this is the first generation iPhone that they just didn't buy. I guess the main difference is the dynamic notch. Really smart design, but I think it might have been a bit overhyped because after using it for some time, it's cool, but it's, it's not changing the way you interact with the, with the phone. A few people have said phone one is looking like the iPhone. How do you feel about that? I get really annoyed reading those comments online. I mean, I know where they're coming from. You know, if you're talking about the buttons, I think I'll be okay with that because they mm. do look quite similar. And I remember uh, asking our industrial design team why it has to be this similar. Mm. And uh, I, I, I lost that argument, but you know, now I think I, I can win the next argument <laughs> because a lot of users are commenting on that. The speaker grill is not that similar. The front of a phone is just screen these days. So there's not much you can do on the front. I think the back looks really different. And if you're talking about the kind of rectangular boxy shape, it's the most space efficient way to build a phone. So no, no circular phones coming up? No circular phones. <laughs> How much are you paying for this one? You got 1300 pounds, 1100 pounds, something like that. You could, I think you could pick this up for 350 at Black Friday, or was it 399? It starts at 399. 399. Yeah. I think it was 50 quid off somewhere. Anyway, but you know, you're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> but realistically, you know, you're talking about two completely different price sets. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's difficult to compare, I suppose. At this price point of the phone one, at about 400 pounds, you'll be hard pressed to find a better kind of full package. But if you want the best, I think, especially in terms of camera, uh, 14 Pro is my recommendation. So speaking about price, you know, what, what do you think it's taken to, to build something like this versus the cost it is to build something that Apple's building? And there was a really good build of materials analysis on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and which pegged the, the bomb at about 501 USD. What's the bomb, sorry? Bill of materials, how much each material costs and you add them all together. Right, okay, got you. So this one is a bit smaller than the Pro Max. I'm guessing this one costs about 465 to build. It retails at uh, starting 999. So their margin is uh, over 50%. The phone one costs about 360 to build, so a bit cheaper than the Apple. Apple has a scale advantage. Mm. Because of how big they are, uh, each component costs a little bit less. Okay, so the, the build of materials is about 360. We sell it at about 400, 450 USD. So our profit margin is, uh, if you remove all the kind of shipping, logistics, and uh, giving some of that margin to channel partners like carriers or Amazon or whatnot, mm -hmm. our margin is uh, zero. And it's okay, it's a, we're a startup company. It's kind of our entry into the market. It's our, we see this more like a, buying a ticket to a show. We bought a ticket to this industry. And after we launched this product, you know, now we've shipped half a million of these. And um, now the suppliers are budging. We're getting better and better pricing. So for our future products, our margins will also start uh, growing. So. That's, that's analysis of the, of the cost. So 50% margin, 0% margin. <laughs> when we're talking about price range, this is flagship. Yeah. Um, this is not flagship. Is there any plans in the future for a flagship? Uh, that's 
how can I answer this question? Uh, it's, a, it's a maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So you've been using it all weekend. Uh, has it been feeling in terms of like, you know, speed, functionality and things like this? Nowadays, all the smartphones are pretty good. Uh, you're not going to find a smartphone that cannot do what you want it to do. And 120 hertz displays are quite common these days. So everything is super smooth as you would expect. I'm not a heavy user. I play some League of Legends while Rift sometimes, but I think that works well on the Nothing Phone as well, despite the Nothing Phone processor being uh, much weaker than the 14 Pro. But yeah, no surprises. Works well. Carl, camera, let's talk camera, man. Yeah. Cameras. I, uh, I, I took the cameras for a spin, took some photos in normal light condition, but also like really challenging dark, mm -hmm. dark condition. At the end of the day, beyond all the specs and the features, what's really important for a smartphone user is to be able to rely on the camera. I don't need to know the megapixel, the aperture, the, all that stuff. I just need to know that whenever I want to take a photo, I'm confident that it's going to be a good photo. So I didn't do any reshoots. I just took some photos. My conclusion is that the iPhone 14 Pro has one of the best camera systems out of any smartphone on the market today. On the other hand, uh, I think the Nothing Phone 1 is also really capable. So there's some stylistic differences, like we tune the colors in a way that's slightly different, but that's, it's more qualitative. You can't really say which mm. kind of tuning profile is better, mm. but I, I think the Phone 1 is super capable also, and probably the best camera uh, in this price class of smartphones. So when you were using it, obviously you're jumping from Android to iOS, which, which do you prefer? The, the truth is, um, I used to love iOS. Mm. I used to think iOS was way better than Android. Mm. I don't really like iOS 16, um, maybe because I'm getting old, but I feel like Apple design was very tight, both in terms of hardware and software. It doesn't feel as, as good looking as before. And maybe to show, show my age even more, like I actually, the, my favorite iOS design was before the, the, the flat design. You know, I think it was iOS 7, where they just changed the design to this kind of flat design. And before that, it was skeuomorphic, like the Notes app looked like a notepad, and you could just flip the pages on iBooks like a book. <laughs> I found that interaction really delightful. I'm not a super huge fan of all the digital stuff that, that we have now. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can bring skeuomorphism back. Come in. So Carl, find one iPhone 14 Pro, uh, what are you picking, man? I think if you want the, one of the best high-end smartphones on the market today, that is the iPhone 14 Pro. I'm a, I'm a fan. Great cameras, great performance. Um, iPhones are always kind of pricey. Before, um, when I had to buy iPhones, I kind of always cringed when I paid for it. I'm like, mm, it costs so much, but I'll, I'll buy it. You might want to wait for iPhone 15 because there's not a ton of changes in 14 Pro, mainly just a bit better camera. On the other hand, if you're looking for something more interesting, something where you're a little bit different from everybody else, you try something new. And if you want to support a small team that's trying to do something really ambitious, consider the Nothing Phone 1. It's also at less than half the, the price of the iPhone. So that makes it a little bit easier. Carl, thanks for giving us such an honest review, man. I think you gave us a... I didn't expect you to actually be quite that real, you know? Gotta keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking the time, man. Uh, you know, spending the weekend with a mm -hmm. competitor product must have been a bit weird. So yeah, uh, I'll let you get back to work, but thanks for taking the time. All right, thank you and see you next time. Yo, 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 yo. What if I get tackled to the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, bro, I'm trying to return my iPhone. Yes. Okay, amazing. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just, you know what it is? I, I compared it to the one from last year, it's just too similar. <laughs> You're not going to upgrade. Thank you so much, bro. Cheers. <laughs> Yo, my mama is too honest, man.